Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're gonna continue working on Rusty. Man, I am so excited. We're making some pretty good progress. We've got the gear shifter in, the emergency brake. <laughs> Sorry guys. The parking brake, the uh, clutch pedal, the brake pedal. And what's gonna be a challenge is getting this accelerator pedal in here. We need to put a new pedal in here and it has to be welded. Okay, so the accelerator pedal is gonna go here. I'm gonna pull these back off. So I've had this apart and put back in and apart probably four or five times now. So I think I, I got it down pretty good. <laughs> that ball is still in there it might be inside the shifter oh there it is it must have just fell out as I was pulling it up all right so there's the little ball bearing here's the spring I got the spring under the cap like you guys suggested somehow it had popped up above here I'm not sure how that happened there's a little hole where that ball bearing goes right there I put a bunch of grease on it to hold it in there Check it out. This is the original gear shifter out of Rusty. Okay, and this is the newer style. There's definitely a difference here. This one, the newer style is longer. You can see here, it's a couple inches longer. It's also has a different profile down here. This area here is, is longer between this cap and the ball here. And the other difference is that guide pin is welded in there, does not move. On the newer one, the whole pin moves with that spring. So this whole pin comes out. There's a spring in there. This one's dirty, but basically it it allows it to, to flex a little bit. I'm sure that helps with the shifting somehow. Okay, so I wanted to keep the original if possible. When I first pulled it out, this ball was stuck in there. And then when I was messing around with it, I was trying to get see if this thing would move. And then the ball popped out. So I don't know if that ball is supposed to be stuck in there somehow, but it's not staying in there now. So I'm wondering if that's an issue or if we can just put it in there like that. Here's the old shift rods. I bought a new one, so we're gonna use the new one for now. But I'm thinking if I put some grease on there, it'll hold the ball in place while it goes in here. And then it, you know, it sits down in there and that ball will stay in place, hopefully. That's a tight fit on this one. We'll see how that ball kind of rides, rides in there. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is other than just giving it a little bit of like cushion, I guess. All right, so it looks like we're okay. I'm just gonna put some grease on it. And you see there's a little spring in there. I cleaned all that out, sprayed some brake clean, got that cleaned out, put some grease here and here. So you just gotta make sure when you put it in, you know, you got grease on there to hold it in place and make sure it doesn't fall out. Now this is on the older style. If you've got the newer style, like this one, then you don't have to worry about it. You just have to make sure that this is clean and moves back and forth, right? So, not sure if you guys have dealt with this before, what your thoughts are on, on it and uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I want to use the old one if possible. I think it's fine as long as you get that ball in there properly. It's supposed to be loose as far as I can tell. And the spring is supposed to move. I think we're going to be fine. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to pull the uh, parking brake back out. All right, we're going in. Let's see what we find. Okay, so here is the parking brake and it's held in with this clip here on each side and there's that little bar that goes through it that holds it that bar is a uh, the original one was completely seized in there i don't know if you guys saw that video but it was completely rusted i had to it was nasty but i got it out i had to buy a new bracket here this assembly here was all rusted out so but i was able to save the original brake handle 
but we, we were able to get a new pin for it and new clips. Here's the emergency brake cables, parking brake cables. They run through here. Okay, so to get the parking brake handle out, it's pretty simple. You just pull these two clips off of each side and then push that pin out. Try not to let it hit you in the face. Okay, and then the pin should push out. Like that, see how it's moving? Okay, there it is right there. And then the handle just drops down. And that's it. Okay, so it's just these two clips, that pin, that hold the handle in. Pretty simple. Unless, of course, yours is completely rusted and seized, like mine was. <laughs> simple when it's brand new, right? <laughs> but it wasn't like that way when I got it. This floor was completely rusted out. Got to get this on here. So I'm going to clean off this uh, primer protective paint they have on here and uh, get ready to weld this. I guess we'll fill in, we'll weld here and here, and then maybe we'll do a couple around on the sides. All right, let's get that cleaned up a little bit. All right, let's try it. All right, let's see what kind of damage we did over here. <laughs> uh... mm, it's hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. Mm. Well, it doesn't feel like it's trying to come off. Seems like it's on there pretty good. I'm gonna hit it again right here on each corner. Well guys, as you can see, that did not work. So, starting over, cleaning it up. Might need to turn the heat up a little bit or something. Something's not working right. Um, let me experiment with the uh, heat and wire speed a little bit. And I still got my little nipples right here. Maybe I'll drill two holes right there to so I don't lose those. But I don't know, I wonder if I could just put a couple self-tapping screws in there for now 
Hmm. I'll try that. Just trying to get some of this mistake off of here. All right, well, something wasn't working quite right, so. We need to see if we can get this in here without screwing it up too bad. I need some good heat on there. Um, I might put a, a tech screw, a couple of self-tapping screws in those holes and then try to weld the side and then take the, hole, take the screws out and fill it in. Um, I'm gonna try that and see if that helps. I need to get the rest of this junk off of here real quick. All right, we've got it cleaned up and I cleaned this up too so we get a better ground right here, hopefully. Um, and then I'm gonna turn the heat up. I think I'm gonna hit it with a couple of self-tapping screws first. All right, I'm gonna put a uh, self-tapping screw in those holes. Hopefully that'll help hold it in place where it needs to be. Then we'll hit it with a couple welds on the sides. Hopefully it'll hold this time. Yeah, I think that's gonna be better already. That's actually holding it really well. Might leave those in there and then just do a couple on each side. I'm gonna turn the heat up. So hopefully we're getting a better ground and this is stable before it was kind of moving around. So we got it tacked in there and it's tight. Like we could probably just leave it just like that and it'd be fine, but I'm gonna put a couple welds on it. I need to turn the gas back on. And we're gonna turn it up to B. Turn the speed up a little bit. Hopefully that will help. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that feels better already. All right guys, I think we have a much better result this time. It's not perfect, but it's in there. Honestly, it probably would have been fine with just those two screws holding it. It felt really tight, but I don't want to risk, uh, you know, if we go on a test drive or something around the block, I don't want to risk this thing popping out. So it's in there now. I think between, you know, getting a better ground and cleaning this really good and uh, turning the heat up and the wire speed up, we got a much better result. You can kind of see the penetration here now, which is a lot better. And if we go underneath, we should be able to see penetration under there too. So let's go check that out. But just grab this and it's not coming off before the welds just snapped right off so pretty good I'm pretty confident with that Let's see what it looks like underneath we definitely have penetration now we just needed to turn up the heat see where the screws are coming through we're gonna leave it just like that I think we're fine for what we're doing you know when it comes down to the final assembly we'll weld we'll take those screws out and weld those holes up too so Looking good. Let's get the uh, actual pedal on there now. All right, guys, let's get this pedal in. Here's the old one. I kept it together as much as possible. I mean, this basically just fell out of the floor when I found Rusty. Basically, this pin slides through here, holds this pedal on here. And then this little clip goes under here. I'm just not sure. It looks like one side's longer than the other. I'm not sure. I'm assuming the longer side goes on the bottom. It just slides on there and goes behind the bar, I guess. It's kind of a, I don't know exactly what it does, but let's see here. Should probably put a little grease on this. We'll put a little grease on it and just kind of Lube it up. Okay. From that angle, guys, but there it is. Let's go underneath and see if we can get it hooked up. All right, let's see if we can get these little bits on here. Take this one under just a reference. So there's our bar that came through. 
this little piece here goes on. It sits up in here. Or some guys put it out here. So, and it's, you know, I don't remember where Rusty's was. I think Rusty's was on the outside, but I can't remember. But we'll experiment with it and see. So this little pin right here, we'll go through. Probably go through the back side like that. Although it could go through the front. We can always switch it later if we need to. It's not that hard. Just put that pin through there. And we'll put this little lock pin through the other side, lock it on, and uh, then we can hook up the accelerator cable. It's gonna hook right there and go all the way back through the tube. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can get the accelerator cable hooked up. Let's push it through the tube. All right, let's push it through the, push it all the way through the hole and see what happens. So there's the tunnel right there. So I'm thinking maybe I just tried to push it through a little bit and I just pulled it back out. You can see the, uh, there's some grease up in there and it actually is clean. So that's a good thing. Uh, so I think this red piece goes right here. It just protects it on that little, cause it doesn't want to go through. So, well, it is trying to go through. Looks like it's staying right there for now. All right. That was uneventful, which was nice. So yeah, maybe that guard just goes right there in that hole and stays there. Probably makes sense. And then this hook hooks on here. We'll hook it up in the rear to the engine, obviously. Here's the uh, accelerator cable came out the other end. There's the uh, pole where it comes out there. And it, there was a ton of grease in there. Original grease from 1962 that lubed it up again. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I mean, the, the grease is fairly clean actually. So that's a good sign. So this will be the new accelerator cable that'll hook up the carburetor. Oh, oh that was my head. So the kit came with a couple of washers. So I put one there. And I put one over here. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but that seems to make sense. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about being this on the outside versus the inside. And uh, I think I'm close. And again, like the hook, you know, does the hook go this way or does it hook from the back? I guess there's different ways you could do it, but this feels pretty good. I'll probably end up putting some grease on here once it's once it's finalized. And this thing here, I'm pretty sure, just kind of supposed to sit there, I guess. Probably to guard the wire against this right here. So let me know what you think. I'm getting closer, guys. I'm gonna hook the uh, shifter back up now. All right, I put the shifter in a few times, so this should only take a second. <laughs> I got a little trick here. This thing here, here I'll show you. So the first couple times I put this in, I struggled big time trying to get the bolts to line up and not move around when I go to put them in. So if you have a little spacer like this, piece of wood or something, you can stick under here. You just set it up under here. So it pushes this up where you need it to be, you know what I'm saying? That was a huge help. And that keeps it from 
pushing down so it gives you lets you put those bolts right in there no problem we're gonna put the shifter in and put some grease on here put that little ball bearing back in there and it's gonna slip right in here Get your holes lined up where they need to be. Yep, <laughs> it fell out. I'm gonna fight with this and try to get it in, so hopefully I'm successful. Now this ball bearing is kicking my butt. It keeps, keeps slipping out, but I'm gonna keep fighting with it. It's gotta get it to go in there somehow. All right, I got it. Just took a little time and Really had to get some light on it so I could see. And I just eased it in there and the ball bearing went and seated in place. So it feels like it's going in all the gears. It's neutral. Got the little extender back on it. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that's factory or if they added that later, but it's definitely neat to get it closer up here. So that should be first. third and fourth as far as I know and then reverse is in there somewhere I got that little boot on and I guess once you hook up the accelerator to the carburetor it'll add some tension to it I'm hoping anyway all right let's get the parking brake put back in and uh, keep moving forward so it's just a uh, reversal of what we did earlier All right, we're gonna pull these cables up a little bit. And then they get locked into this little bar here. This little pin goes in here. They slide up in there. And then you bolt them down. Like that for now do some fine adjustments once we get it uh, back on its wheels and then we'll put probably put a double nut on here to lock it on probably I would imagine I don't remember if it had double nuts or not but I think it did there's a boot that goes over this and a 
my little uh, protector that goes over this too, so make that look nice. There's a boot that goes over the shifter too. I've got that as well. Um, <clears throat> I guess we could put those on. Well, we'll wait until we get it up and running and mess around with it a little bit more. All right guys, shifter is in all the way down to the transmission. It's hooked up. Accelerator pedal is in. Emergency brake is in. Parking brake is in. Brake pedal. We still gotta bleed the line, fill it up. We haven't put any fluid in it yet, so we'll do that soon. Uh, and the clutch. Clutch cable needs to be hooked up. There's a couple little things I need to do with the steering wheel. Put that bracket on, this bracket here. I might do that now actually and get this done. And then there's the uh, turn signal thing that goes on there too. All right, this should be pretty simple. It's just this bracket here. You can see how rusty it was. I vapor blasted this and uh, painted it. So we should be able to save it, but you can definitely see it had some pits for sure. But it goes up under here and basically there's, there's some bolts up under here to hold it on and 13 mil bolt and a nut that goes up here. This goes on first. This is new here. The new, uh, the old one was kind of worn out, a little bushing. And then this coupler sleeve here holds that, holds that in there. And these were toast, so I got some new ones. So this goes around right around here. Once we get all that done, I need to get some electronic cleaner and uh, clean up the blinker switch. I actually have a brand new one of these that I got from Wolfsburg West, but I don't want to put the new one in yet because um, you have to take out all the wires and stuff and we're going to do that later. I don't want to mess it up, but it looks pretty sweet. I'll show it to you real quick. This is the new switch here, blinker assembly that Wolfsburg West makes. It's painted and everything really nice very very nice so and it looks like it'll be pretty simple i just don't want to put it in yet because i don't want to get it all messed up i don't want to scratch it or because we're going to take all this stuff back out we're going to probably end up sanding all this down taking all this stuff out the radio and everything and sanding all this rust off of here and getting the inside i want the inside of rusty to look brand new i want the underside the com engine compartment and everything on the inside to look brand new and then keep them rusty on the outside. So we'll have to figure out somehow how we can seal the outside so it doesn't rust anymore. And we're also gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with the roof. But uh, that'll be later on down the road. It's gonna be a long-term project. Right now we're just trying to get it, everything beta tested and take them for a test drive. <laughs> Also, I got this new switch from Wolfsburg West. This we will use because the old one is pretty bad. So that's gonna go over there where those wires are, over in the corner. We'll put that in. Test it out, see how it works. The old one is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> It could probably be saved. You probably could save it. If I remember correctly, it works. I'm definitely gonna save it. I'm not gonna throw it away. Maybe we'll take it off at some point and clean it up and and uh, see if we can save it. It's it's nasty, but it did work. If I remember correctly, the bright lights came on. So it's pretty wild though. Look at that floor. Look how nasty that floor is bad all right let's see if we can get this uh, bracket on there we have to do something with that seat too let's see if we can uh, save that clean it up a little bit I have new cushions not cushions I have new yeah I have new cushions that I got from Wolfsburg West I just don't have the uh, 
the vinyl cover. Um, but the cushions are over there. They're back in there. See them up against the wall there in that plastic? Brand new. So we'll be we'll put these on, we'll try them out. And maybe we'll try to put the old vinyl cover back on. We got the underneath of the floor. This goes under the master cylinder and the front area to protect that, to protect the uh, brake pedal and the master cylinder and all that. But that is kind of cool. That's the original seat, the original, whatever they used, hay or whatever it was. And there's a tag in there too. It's neat. And this is the, uh, so this is the part you sit on when this is the back part here, hanging on the wall here. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, there's definitely some rust, but we're gonna save it. All right, let's get this on here. 